Hey guys, welcome back to another Bootleg Brick episode. Today, we will be looking at Lele. Uh, it's a Chinese bootleg Lego company in their attempt to, you know, create fakes of the Lego minifigures. Some of the Lego minifigures, um, you know, the animal, animal people, which are on actually separate series or separate sets, but... You know, it's it's China. You just can't stop China. So since we have six figures here at the same time, I have already, um, well, I've already took, I have already taken the liberty of opening these in advance and um, assembling them so that it will be faster for us to, you know, to show you and faster for me to review them and you know give you my thoughts with regard to how these fake Legos are circulating nowadays. So without further ado, let's start with the first one, number one, bunny suit guy. Um, let me remove these, put them to the side here. Okay. So let's start with the bunny suit guy. You know, a lot of people have been looking for these and um, you know, it's very easy to instantly find or spot fakes um, with the Lego minifigures, especially if they're bootlegs from China. So here's the here's the card. I uh, don't need to you know open this because you know there's really no point. And um, this thing is. Really irrelevant. I like this though. Um, we usually get these on older Lego sets. Some of the underwater sets. I know um, I've had these when I was a kid, but let's uh, throw these away or put this aside because these are irrelevant. And here is the bunny guy or the bunny suit guy. So, funny thing about the, the base here. Let's talk about the base the base for, uh, for a little bit. No, you know when you see the it says the Lego movie, um, they actually made one that says the Lele block, which is kind of neat. If you think about it, you know, for them to actually brand their company. But seeing as these are fakes, you know, there's not there's not really much. They're not really collectible. I don't know who would actually find this collectible, but well, some people might actually find these collectible. So let's put that aside. That is number one. Next, let's open number two, which is the Bumblebee Girl. Um, here is the card. Let me show you the card first here. So this is the Bumblebee Girl. Not much. Uh, like I said, putting that aside because it's irrelevant. Um, throw this away. You know, one thing, this is probably one of the, uh, the figs that I liked in this uh, bootleg set. Not that it's anything good, but you see the transparent um, wings here for the bee. You know they really did a pretty good job. However, seeing as they are Chinese, they are bound to have flaws because, of course, it's fake, right? Um, so the fudge. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so here we have the the bumblebee girl. And the print in the front and the legs isn't really, you know, up to par. If you compare it to the bunny guy, this actually has a better printing compared to the bumblebee guy or girl or whatever. So, you know, this sucks, but I like the wings. Good job, Lele. Lele Block or whatever the company should be. You know, should sound or should be named. Anyway, let's move on to the third one, which is probably one of my favorites, the Lizard Man, or as I like to call him, the Dinosaur Guy. Um, throwing this away and uh, throwing these away because this, these are irrelevant. Here is the card. Take a good look at that card because it looks like Reptar from the Rugrats movie or the Rugrats um, cartoons here. So. Um, here is the lizard guy, or the for me the dinosaur guy, which is pretty cool. It's just that the details here aren't very good. Um, you would immediately tell 
you can immediately tell that these are fakes um, because the edges from the sprues and everything are not fine unlike Legos where there is a specific and very precise mold for for each uh, Lego piece but you know China did a pretty good job with this guy no complaints except the fact that these are fit so these are not collectible you know these are not collectible for me so let's put that aside it's a good fig though I'll give it that next we have the chicken suit guy I actually thought this was chicken shit guy but you know that's me and my imagination you know just leave me alone with my own imagination um, throwing this away because it is useless and um, showing you the card there chicken suit guy chicken shit guy um, that's how I really read it and uh, this if you look at this fig it actually looks pretty cool um, you know with the arms and the head and everything details actually pretty nice however if you look at the the legs that's where you find out that you know China actually you know um, went to a subpar state wherein you know they really didn't pay attention I mean the legs should look like this at least make this look you know white but you know given that it's China and then kids probably wouldn't mind that's probably why they you know they did that and like I said these are not collectible in any way so I wouldn't really care next number five down to the last two the gorilla suit guy which is very nice if you ask me um, where's the card oh here it is and throwing this away here is the card gorilla suit guy from the Lele minifigures and uh, here is the gorilla suit guy um, this actually looks pretty cool however one thing I noticed about this is the eyes you know they didn't really put much detail on the eyes which made it look like it's a uh, you know, it's, uh, which actually made it look like or did I actually put it no I actually put it right it's just that you know they just didn't really pay attention to the details so compare that to the the eyes actually you know the eyes should have brought a lot of character into this thing but then again this is China and they don't really care they just want kids to buy them and parents think it's cheap so they care the kids will probably just play with it and not know that it's fake we're adults we would know which is fake and which is not which brings us to no brings us to number six which is the piggy guy I know I'm fat but that's not a reason to call me piggy guy well that might be one reason but you know what funny thing about this is because it does not come with a card which I don't really care because I don't really collect the cards and I'm throwing these away because these are again irrelevant but when we're looking at the piggy guy this is probably one of my favorite um, uh, what do you call this figures from this set or from this fake Lego bootleg whatever set from Lele this is probably you know one of my favorites because they actually paid attention to the a lot of details um, they probably had a good molding for this which is why it looks pretty neat or maybe because that's that's probably why the gorilla and the uh, the lizard man and the rabbit guy or bunny suit guy and the piggy whatever guy actually have uh, better details because the they have the same tone for the entire you know the entire fake itself so this is pink um, for me it's really nice I like the detail at the back they actually got the you know the tail there the little piggy tail which is pretty neat um, I actually have no complaints with this so you know if you ask me my favorite would probably be the the green one the lizard man however however there is a however in this conversation however um, if we look into the details the best details are number one which is the bunny suit guy and the other would be number six the um, piggy whatever piggy suit guy so you know um, not not bad for for a Chinese made fake bootleg toy however disclaimer 
do please do not buy bootleg China made Lego well fake Legos um, you know um, uh, plastic in China you're not really going to you know you're I don't really recommend buying anything any toy from China because the plastic might be made of something else and your child might be playing with this um, this these are not collectible um, for me but some people might find this collectible but you know like I said just buy Legos I mean Legos are better like hundred percent better than these guys however um, since this is a review and an unboxing you know I would rate this maybe a four out of ten five out of ten let's say four out of ten so you know I like the bunny suit guy I like the piggy suit guy I think and uh, you know um, that's it that's probably why I gave it a four over ten but you know don't buy this for your kids um, if you want to play with it make sure you're an adult and uh, you know just just don't think about just trying to save money because you know buy Lego I mean you're a freaking adult why, why would you you know anyway um, you know let's uh, let's finish this video um, I hope you guys like it and um, you know uh, again please do not collect these these are fake and uh, buy real Legos instead I beg you so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time